Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. And today I want to talk to you about how Isaiah 10, 1 through 2 talks about woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And I want to talk to you about how you need to stop cursing yourself with your words. In Isaiah 10, 1 through 2 it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. And obviously it's dealing with people, kings and, and leadership, setting up decrees that is taking away from others. But I want you to think about it from this context, practical context for your life today. What about when you're setting up your own decrees, you're cursing yourself, you're speaking evil, well, I can't do that. That's too hard for me. My family never could do those things. We never could have that kind of money. Think about that. Is that not an un unrighteous decree about yourself? Of course it is. And so I want you to think about that today. When you go around, when you're speaking, what are you saying about yourself and others, of course? Are you tearing yourself down? Are you decreeing unrighteous decrees about yourself, about your abilities, about your memory, about your whatever it may be, your abilities, your financial situation? Are you decreeing unrighteous things? This is very important because people spend day in and day out speaking negatively about themselves. They watch negative programming on the television and the media. They're constantly bombarding themselves with negativity in one form or another. And then they wonder why their lives are not peaceful, happy, and prosperous. This is one of the reasons I wrote my book, 600 Wealth, Prosperity, and Abundance Affirmations, because I wanted people to undo that subconscious programming and stop cursing themselves. Start speaking affirmations and things that are good. And also, once you get yourself renewed to that, your mind renewed, you won't want to speak those. Those things will, will be hard for you to speak negatively about yourself, to decree unrighteous judgments about yourself, to decree unrighteous decrees about yourself, to write grievousness. You won't be able to do that. You'll only want to speak positive about yourself and conversely others. As Jesus taught, you love your neighbor as yourself. If you don't love yourself, if you're negative about yourself, if you're always bringing yourself down, I guarantee you don't love other people. You may feign it because you're trying to get attention or, or get approval from them, but you don't deep down inside really love those people. Because the first thing to love is yourself. Not in a selfish way, but if you don't love and cherish yourself, the gift God's given you of life, you're not going to love and cherish someone else. You just won't. And so if the way you're treating others is not great, maybe you need to first start, obviously treat them well, but maybe you need to first start with decreeing some good things about yourself. Speaking forth words that are good, that are righteous, that are godly. I wrote a book called The Seven Day Positivity Diet. And in it, I deal with specifically Philippians 4.8, which essentially says to think only about positive things, only uplifting things of good report that are virtuous. Only think about those things. And if you'll do that, and I suggest you get that book because it's very short, but if you'll follow it and follow that scripture, Philippians 4.8, it will radically change your life. And here's another thing. It will change the way you deal with other people, the way you treat them, the way you behave toward them. Because you can't be negative and nasty and hateful and mean and vindictive to someone else when you're only thinking about positive things. And when you had affirmations, you've spoken and listened to and heard affirmations that are good and uplifting about your abilities and your wisdom and God's blessing in your life. You can't start then lashing out and being nasty or being nasty about yourself. So I will put links to those books in the description. I pray this has been a blessing for you. And I pray that you will start today to decree righteous things about yourself, to decree good things about yourself and others. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.